The first five executions are set to take place for inmates on federal death row since 2003. It's an order federal officials say will bring justice to victims of horrific crimes. But some in the Wabash Valley say they're not for this change. Execute justice, not people. Attorney General William Barr made the announcement yesterday. He directed the Federal Bureau of Prisons to adopt an addendum to the federal execution protocol. That makes way for capital punishment to resume after nearly two decades. Death Row on the federal level is located right here in Terre Haute at the Terre Haute Federal Penitentiary. News 10 Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom tonight. She spoke with the Sisters of Providence of St. Mary of the Woods. In tonight's top story, Sarah shares why this group feels strongly against capital punishment. Patrice, the Sisters of Providence have always been outspoken when it comes to federal executions. They've had silent protests at executions in the past, and now that federal executions will start back up again, they say they'll be at the ones in the future as well. We don't believe that killing is right, whether it's done in anger or whether it's done by a law enforcement, killing is killing. Sister Rita Claire Gerardo has been in the Sisters of Providence congregation since 1944. So you can imagine she's seen a lot of things going on in the Wabash Valley, the state, country, and the world. One of those things is the death penalty. I don't believe in the death penalty. As a community, we don't believe in the death penalty. Now, after almost two decades, the capital punishment will start again right here in Terre Haute. And Sister Rita Claire says she'll still fight against it. And what they've done is detestable, certainly, and they deserve to be punished. But killing them is not the answer to that. Life in prison without the possibility of parole is certainly a punishment that they have to live with day after day after day. She says she's been to all of the executions that have happened in the past at Terre Haute's federal prison. It was very, very solemn. There was no, you know, chit chat back and forth. It was a very solemn gathering of people and uh, sobering, very sobering. Her hope is to have no more, but if they continue, she'll be at the next. We should never ever judge a person by the worst thing that they've ever done. And I'm sure that most of these men who are there, that is probably the worst thing that they have do ever done. Now there are five death row inmates already scheduled for execution. Those will start in December and Sister Rita Clare says that the Sisters of Providence and other clergy members will be at those executions to pray for the prisoner, their families and the people they've killed. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10, back to you. Well, each of those inmates set for execution has been convicted of murdering children, the elderly and families. Daniel Lewis Lee, Lesman Mitchell and Wesley Ira Perkey will be executed in December. Alfred Bourgeois and Dustin Lee Honkin face execution in January. Each execution will happen in Terre Haute.